Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is so dark outside already. It is currently about 6.30. Alex just heated up some pizza and is sitting inside. And um, he is watching First Wives Club. And then when I get done vlogging, um, he's gonna run me to the store because I need to get some iced coffee and some Diet Cokes. And um, then we are going to watch some movies tonight. I'm like, please do not let me get any snacks and treats while I'm at the store tonight. I don't need any snacks and treats. Um, but I have a little bit of a special surprise for you. So I thought that I would um, come out here and just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update of the last 24 hours. I also wanted to address some comments that I got on my video yesterday. But then I thought, Alex was like, when I told him this, he's like, you're gonna go take a walk around the neighborhood? And I go, yeah, I'm gonna go take a walk around the neighborhood. Cause that was my plan to start that this week on Monday and it's Friday and I haven't taken a walk yet around the neighborhood. So I thought I'm gonna take a walk around the neighborhood and show you guys the Christmas decorations in the neighborhood. I thought somebody mentioned that on a vlog a couple days ago that I should do that. And so I was like, that's kind of a, a cute idea. So I'm also gonna light these candles because so many of my neighbors, when they walk by at night, they'll say to me the next day, it looks like you have like a little bonfire on your front porch there. So I thought that when we come back and I end the vlog, that I can show you guys what the front porch looks like um, with the candles out here that everybody sees. So this first candle that I am burning is, I thought it's a Bath and Body Works candle. I think it's called Tis the Season or something like that. And then this candle is I, I, oh, it's two of the same. I have the little one and the big one. This is the Cedar Balsam candle from Trader Joe's. And this one's kind of like halfway used. Huh. And then I keep them down here on this metal table. And then this is a new Cedar Balsam, one of the little candles. Somebody sent me a three pack of these. I'm like going through these like crazy. The nutmeg are my favorite. I've been burning them in the kitchen. So, how are you guys doing today? Um, I, last night, well, I ordered the Cheesecake Factory and you guys saw that and then it came and whatever. I had such a good time. I watched, um, Alex was not gone that long and he um, went out to dinner and then he and his friends like, he, he said he was going to come home right afterwards but he went to this other place with his girlfriends and um, I guess there's like his girlfriends and like one of like one of the boyfriends went to of like I don't know of the 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 birthday girl or something like that I don't know but anyway so he went to this place and um, they had like one drink and then he was like he came home after that so he was not home too late last night he was really really tired and so I was like are you going to bed he was like yeah I'm going to bed right now and I said okay I had already started watching Vanderpump Rules because I was trying to finish the first season of Vanderpump Rules because I'm trying to get through all the seasons I just look the second season has I think 17 episodes and the last two episodes are reunion episodes so I've got 15 episodes plus two reunion episodes <laughs> so last night I was on episode five. There were 10 episodes total. So I watched five episodes of Vanderpump Rules in the first episode of season two. So I watched six episodes of Vanderpump Rules last night. Some while I was one, one or two while I was eating. Kind of a little picnic out there of all of my uh, Cheesecake Factory stuff. But the uh, uh, Korean fried cauliflower, like I just ate a few of those and I saved those. So I'm gonna have those tonight for dinner and not order anything. And then I watched that, and then after that, it was kind of late, and I was like, well, I want to watch like some kind of like Christmas movie or something, but I didn't really know what I wanted to watch. And so, um, I watched this movie. I was like, I'm trying to like watch movies I've never seen before, because like every year I always watch like the same Christmas movies over and over and over again. So I've been trying to watch Christmas movies that I've never seen before, ones that just came out this year. And so I watched this one with Melissa McCarthy, and it was called Genie. I think it's on Peacock, maybe. Peacock or Paramount or one of, I think it's Peacock and it was recommended to me I was gonna watch the one with Eddie Murphy and it's on Prime and it's called like Christmas Spirits or something it's like where he like enters this um, Christmas neighborhood decorating contest and then he like meets this elf and it like puts the 12 days of Christmas to life or something like that I don't know anything about it but it's supposed to be really good um, there's all these new Christmas movies 
Um, somebody asked me if I was gonna watch this one called like The Sitter or something, and it's it's like a gay kind of love romantic love story Christmas movie. I may watch that one. If you guys have recommendations for like newer Christmas movies that just came out this year or last year, let me know in the comment section below. There's also another movie, and it got really good ratings. I like looked up this article on I was like Google searching like best Christmas movies of 2023, and there was this article i think it was like on vulture magazine or something i don't even know what magazine not a magazine i like read or website i go to but it was just a list and it was like the 10 best christmas movies and shows of 2023 there was like a batman christmas a batgirl christmas or something like that but one of them was this movie that's still in theaters but you can rent it apparently on demand or like on itunes or whatever and it's called the holdovers i think and it's about this like boarding school teacher that has to stay behind with the students that don't go home for the holidays. It's supposed to be really, really endearing. So, um, I may watch that one tonight. Alex and I are actually going to watch, I asked him earlier, I said, and I asked him this last night and then I asked him again today, I was like, do you really want to watch Haunting in Venice? Because if you don't want to watch it, I'm going to watch it because I've really been like waiting to see it. <clears throat> I said, there's two movies I really want to see. I want to see, uh, and I, 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 people keep on asking me about this too, The Haunting in Venice, but people keep on asking me about Five Nights at Freddy's. The thing is, I really wanted to see Five Nights at Freddy's, but now that Halloween is over, I'm kind of more in the holiday mood. <laughs> so, um, Five Nights at Freddy's can kind of like wait. Till, and, and The Haunting in Venice, I really want to see because it's, you know, like one of those Agatha Christie movies. But I can wait to watch, um, Five Nights at Freddy's until after the New Year's, you know, so I'm like, or after Christmas or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm totally fine with that. So, um, also I wanted to say, somebody said on here that I shouldn't mention where Alex goes, like when he goes out to dinner, like with his friends and stuff like that. I don't ever mention that until Alex is left there. Like, I, I know that I'm not going to put up the vlog until like 11 o'clock and by then, Alex has already left the restaurant or the place that he's going to. Like, I think I mentioned the other day, like, some restaurant that they went to, and I got a, like, I got a DM about it, I think, and, like, a couple comments, and people were like, please don't mention where Alex is going to. It's, like, really dangerous. I'm very careful with that stuff. Like, um, I know the vlog isn't going to get up in, in time for, like, somebody to, like, jump in their car and run over there and whatever. And, and in all honesty, like, most of the people that I have found that are, um, like, harassing me or saying really hateful things and whatever don't live anywhere close to me. There's a few that do. But the fact... I'm not real worried, to be honest with you, with them showing up on my doorstep. I think that they know that I would call the police immediately. <clears throat> um, I mean, that's stalking, intimidation, and harassment. So that would be really easy, you know, whatever. They would, like, literally be handing over to me, like, a reason to press charges instantly. Um, but I will say that, you know, like, one of the things I've started to do is, like, uh, I'd say once a month or every two to three weeks, like, somebody on the list that I know, and I, I'd probably say... I said in my drama video the other day, there's about five to ten people. There's actually probably about 20 people. Um, I'd say there's five to ten people that I know that are, like, stalker stalkers that have, like, are the ones that are, like, going behind the scenes. And, and I know who all the people are. I just want to make that clear at this point. I know who the people are. Um, I just continue to let some of them say... The, the ones that are saying the most hateful things, I'm just continuing to gather information because that's what was recommended to me. But they're hearing me loud and clear because I've said things in videos and they've responded um, by doing having certain actions. So I know that they're listening to me and I know that they know that I know who they are. Um, I said something about, you know, like the, the ability to, you know, do something with videos and things like that. And that person, like, and I know exactly who they are and everything about them. They, like, they're, they're, those videos, like, went down immediately. Um, so they're watching me very closely. I know that. But <clears throat> I've kind of decided to start, like, with the people that are, like, the least amount of trouble, but they're still, like, like very nasty human beings. And the things that they say about me and whatever, and my family and friends... Um, I and questioning my sobriety and questioning this about me and whatever to just like like one day like I'll just pick somebody and just like block them completely on all social media and whatever and interestingly uh, uh, you know like uh, just 
it's funny how much they they follow me across the board on stuff, and so they know who they are because they get blocked immediately, like on on one day. Like, I'll, and I'll say, you know, to Alex, is this person following you? Yes, they're following me. They're following my mom. They're following this. I usually don't follow through with everybody else. I'm just like, can you block them? So I block them. Alex blocks them. They're blocked on all my social media. They know that. They know that I know who they are, right? Like, because it's a pretty clear signal that I'm sending to them, and I'm kind of doing that starting with the least go, working my way up so that they're aware that the time is going to come that I'm going to be addressing these things but those aren't th those people are just the ones that are kind of like just kind of saying like hateful nasty things and whatever um there's a lot that I don't share on vlogs about like you know like if if I go uh because there's a lot of people that I don't want to talk about um, in video. So like if I would go like run around for like an hour or two with like somebody that I never talk about in my videos, like I don't even mention that because I don't want to expose those people. There's people that I'm very, very close with that are friends of mine in recovery that I've never once mentioned. I mean, I'm, I'm close with on the level of like Tanya that I've never mentioned in a video of mine because I would never, you know, like, exp like Tanya knew what she she asked to be like in videos at the beginning and stuff and then whatever happened you know she was like her information was like doxxed and things like that and that was why she was kind of like i don't want to do this anymore but um w with certain friends of mine they're like no i don't want any part of that whatsoever and i've never mentioned them nobody knows who they are things like that so um i mean there's whole things that i go do that i just kind of completely skip over when i'm talking about my day and things like that and and i don't feel like that's lying i don't feel like that's being disingenuous, I feel like that's protection of those people. Um, there's a lot of things I don't share and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, yeah, just because I want people to know that I know who you are and it, it, you're continuing to say things. It's, if you're out there and I haven't blocked you yet, it's probably because I'm watching to see you say things and I already have things on you, just so you know. Um, but I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, so... But I, I'm, like, very careful with that stuff. Like, if I, if Alex was going to be somewhere, like, for, you know, the next 12 hours and I knew the vlog was going to go up and there was the ability that somebody could show up there and whatever, um, I, like, the new thing, look, this is, like, the new thing. Like, you know how I had all the fake accounts for a while? Um, and, and, like, Instagram won't take those accounts down. People have been sending me nonstop this one person and, like, their name is, like, Peter Mon something, a, a one, it's, like, like, a K and a one in it or whatever. And, like, they're commenting on everybody's pictures that follows me and stuff like that. Commenting back to people. I blocked them, but, like, there, if you go in and you put my name in on Instagram, there are so many fake accounts. Like, literally. And then there are so many fake accounts that use my pictures but don't have my names. Well, Instagram won't take those accounts down. They won't do anything about it, right? I learned that a long time ago. You can report it a million times, they won't do anything about it. So now that they know that it doesn't really bother me anymore, they've now started it with Alex. Like just in the last 24 hours, like four fake accounts of Alex started up. It's just really pathetic. It's like, that's how you spend your time. I have to tell you, in all honesty, like one of the things I just figured out recently by looking at a couple of these people's accounts is that, um, like not the people that are faking my accounts, but the people that like have really said like some of the harshest things to me, are people that have a lot of trauma in their life. I mean, I can see it in their pictures. I can see the how they've dedicated their lives. I can see the lives of their families and things like that and then the things that they've gone through. And they've gone through some very, very difficult things, you know, in their life. And they, you know, I can see all of it, you know. Um, and uh, I can see what hardships they've gone through and whatever. And the only thing I can make sense of it, in all honesty, is that and, and in all honesty like this is where as a human being it's hard for me because i'm like i really feel for these people because they've gone through like really tough times you know illnesses sicknesses things like that and i really feel bad for them i don't know how it makes you get healthier feel better or make somebody else in your family healthier by taking that out on me i don't know what that does for you um but uh, I wish you the best. I, 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 you know, I wish you and your family the best. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to continue to pursue it. Um, you know, you're going to do something like that and 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 harass me and stalk me and things like that. Then you're going to pay the piper. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You know, that I can have. I can pursue that and I can also have empathy and sympathy for somebody that has such a miserable life that they live in hatred and anger. I have lived in hatred and anger in my life before, right? 
What's interesting is they're typically the people that pick my lives apart for doing or saying things at a point that I was at my all-time low, but they are at their all-time low and they're picking me apart. You would think it would make sense to them. They would get it. You know, like I said, the video the other day, <clears throat> I love the quote of Atticus Finch and To Kill a Mockingbird that you really don't know somebody until you walk around in their shoes on their front porch for a while and really know who they are, you know? And it's like, when I when I look at these pictures and I look at their families and I look at their lives, like I said in my video the other day, they're very normal people, but one of the things I started to notice consistently with them is that, that each of them had some like major issue in their life that they were dealing with, that they were very vocal about on their social media, you know? And I was like, wow, like that's a lot to go through. So I guess there way of dealing with it, you know, instead of, I don't know, support groups or therapy or uh, spiritual growth or whatever works for them. I'm not telling somebody what to do, but I guess their way is to turn to anger and hatred and just tear somebody else down and that's what makes them happier in their life. Um, it doesn't seem to be working because these are things that have been going on for years and years and years and you guys have been coming for me for years and years and years, but they're very miserable people. So from an empathetic point of view, I can kind of look at that and be like, well, I understand. Like, this is what they do with it, you know? Like, um, you know, it's like uh, the, the Oprah saying years ago when she had this aha moment and she went and visited these women in Joliet or Illinois State Prison in Joliet. And they were women that had killed their, their infant children. And she interviewed them. And when she said when it was done, like you can go look this up on YouTube, her aha moment from this. When it was done, this woman came up to her afterwards and said, can I ask you a question? And Oprah said, yeah. And she said, why don't you hate us? And Oprah said, no, I don't hate you. See, because that's what you do with your pain, but I do something different with mine. And I relate to that saying, you know, I don't hate these people. I don't, I don't want to be somebody that lives with hate in my heart. I have forgiveness. I have understanding. I have empathy. I also have follow through, you know, just because I have empathy doesn't mean that I'm going to forget it. Um, if you're going to make harsh actions towards somebody, and I think some of these people will not learn until there is harsh, harsh, harsh action. And I think a lot of them think that they're untouchable when I know exactly who they are. I have their names, their addresses, and whatever. And then they even have the nerve to the lengths that they have gone through to be disruptive to my life, to then turn around and say, when I get in a video and I say, I have your name, your address, and your video, that that's doxing them or threatening them. No, that's, that's completely fair for me to say that in a video. You've made my life a living hell. If, if you want me to get on video and like read all the DMs, the emails that you've sent to the, all the people in my life, the things you've said behind the scenes, on I, I have no problem doing that. And then we'll let people decide what's fair and what's not fair. I can tell it's not gonna, it's not gonna fare well for you, okay? Um, but I will never share those people's names online, you know? Um, in the past, I think I, I kind of hinted at that, but I would, I would not do that. There's not a reason to because it's being dealt with behind the scenes. But that doesn't mean that I don't have empathy for those people, that they have miserable lives, um, and so this is how they deal with it. I, I, I guess it's the only way that I can make sense of it. So, um, but moving on from that, so Alex and I are gonna watch at least um, The Haunting in Venice tonight, which I'm really excited about. And then we're also gonna watch, catch up on our shows like The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Real Housewives of Miami. We have another Housewives? What's the other Housewives that we have? Was it just those two? Miami, I think it's just those two, isn't it? Oh, oh my God, and the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip started um, with the Roni Legacies. The Real Housewives of New York just started. Tony said she watched all three, seasons, three episodes and it's really good. So we'll probably watch those tonight too. He's gonna get tired and then he's not gonna watch this movie. Tomorrow night, Alex has this thing, um, this like Christmas party that he goes to every year with just like, it's like six of his girlfriends and they get in their pajamas and they play games all night long and stuff like that. So that's tomorrow night. <laughs> He's like, do you want to go? And I'm like, uh, absolutely not, no. <laughs> but you have fun. I love these girls. They're a lot of fun. And I love to go out to dinner with them and stuff like that. But to like sit around in my pajamas and play. I know it sounds like fun to a lot of people. I would rather sit here and watch Vanderpump Rules and Christmas movies in my pajamas with my dog. So, <laughs> by the way, I just want to say... If you watch my Peter Does Stuff video from today, Lucy sent me, um, or she sent very nice gifts. A lot of people did. But she sent a purple um, dog bed for Boo Radley with a matching, like a lavender dog bed for Boo Radley with like a matching like purple 
um, blanket and I took it upstairs and Alex was like, oh my God, who sent this to you? He's like, Boo Rally, you have a new bed. We now have two Costco blankets on the bed and then the bed from Lucy and the blanket from Lucy and Boo Rally, and she just like stood up and he like, and he sat right down the bed. He was like, oh my God. He's like, he loved the bed immediately. It was so cute. So, um, so yeah, so that's our plans for tonight. And then tomorrow I will probably film. I'm hoping to like, I'll probably take Sunday off. I might film my vlog on Sunday, but I'm gonna probably take Sunday off and film any other videos. Tomorrow, since Alex is going to say, and he's going there kind of early, I think it's like at five or six or something like that. So I'll probably film all kinds of videos tomorrow. Sleep in late and, you know, get up, have some coffee and film all kinds of videos. Okay, I wanted to say two things of comments that I got on my vlog from yesterday. So the first one is about me filming at the computer, okay? I want to make this very, very clear. And I'm not upset about any of these comments that I'm going to address. I, I totally listen to them with an open mind. The first thing I want to say is the only time I ever film in front of my computer is when... I literally, I have to multitask because if I'm going to get up three to four other videos, that's the only t way I can do it if I'm also going to vlog. Because somebody said in there, I don't know why you don't render the videos, um, make the thumbnail, do all this kind of stuff, and then upload the videos. That's literally what I do all day long. I, I, I think that people think because I don't edit and things like that, it takes me no time to film a video. So just to give you guys an idea of what my day looks like, what I do is, like I come out here, like I read through comments on my Peterisms video, like I pick a comment, then I film the video, then I go inside and I upload that. That takes a couple minutes, okay? And while I'm doing that, I'm cleaning the kitchen or whatever, and then I render that video, okay, which means you have to, it makes it to upload, and then I upload that video. That video to upload, I usually don't do thumbnails for my Peterisms videos, so that upload can take like 40 minutes, okay? There's only, I can only be uploading like two videos at the same time. I can't upload four to six videos on different, you can't do that on different channels. Like there's only, I can only upload like two videos at the same time on two different channels. So I have seven channels, so it, I have to wait until one video is done for the next video to go up. So usually right when I'm done with that, like I usually film two videos on the same memory card and upload two videos together. So like I'll do like, I usually do like my Peter review stuff video and my Peter does stuff video. So I go and I upload the memory card, render them, and then I screenshot something for my thumbnail and while I'm, those are rendering, I make the thumbnails and then I start uploading those. And then it takes 45 minutes to an hour and a half for each of those to upload. While those are uploading, I make the other video, okay? If you play this out over six channels, because I usually make, you know, five to four to six videos a day, if you play that out, that, that's a lot of time in between. I said in my video yesterday that I got started late making videos. So my options were either sit in front of the computer because I was never gonna get any of those videos up. And I mean, in fact, I almost thought because I posted them if you watched, I posted most of those videos between like 9.30 and 10 last night. I was like, they're not gonna get any views, they're way too late, right? I think the only, pe mostly the only, like I, I said on there that people watch videos later, but. I, mostly on my my vlog channel, you know, or maybe my Peterisms channel or something like that. But on the other channels, like, people watch us a little bit earlier. And so I was like, if I post these videos at 10 or 10.30, they're gonna, like, it's gonna, they're gonna be up so late that nobody's gonna, I mean, especially when I'm like, boom, 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 boom. Like, somebody said I posted, like, 20 videos within five minutes, right? Because I also don't like to do that. It's just, like, post them all at the same time because I think that's overwhelming to people. So I knew last night, if I didn't film in front of my computer while I was doing that stuff, there was not going to be a vlog because I was going to get all that stuff done and then start vlogging at like nine o'clock. And then I was going to get done at 10 o'clock and then it was going to be way too late to upload and stuff the vlog. So my options were sit in front of the computer and vlog, even if it's distracting and, and people don't love watching it or do no vlog at all. And I didn't want to skip a night vlogging because I know some people it bothers, but other people it doesn't. And so... I was like, I want to put a vlog out today, so I did the vlog, but that was what I had to do for yesterday, um, because I got my day started. I mean, the other thing is this, is like, I, I work until like 8 or 10 o'clock at night, putting videos together, filming videos, uploading videos, and things like that. Like, I don't, like, I do not sit down to rest, eat, watch a TV show until everything. It's usually until the vlog is uploading, and it's like, and like I'm just waiting to post it. Like, that's usually when I finally rest. That could be 9.30 or 10 o'clock at night. So, you know, the other thing is that, like, I don't want to 
like if I'm gonna vlog, I don't wanna be going till 11 o'clock at night. I don't think most of you would, you know? I mean, sometimes I sit out here and I film a video, it's like I, I'm, it's it's a lot, it's a lot. You know, it's eight or nine, 10 hours, you know, a day. I know people don't think like it's like, you know, like you're like, they'll say like, well, it's not like really like, you know, a real job and whatever. Trust me, it's much easier, okay? Than standing on my feet for 10 hours, you know, or having two and three jobs. I get that. I've always said YouTube is a blessed job. I stand by that, I believe that, right? But at the same time, it, it it's time and effort. It takes time and effort. That's why I did that. Um, I will make a more conscious effort to not film in front of the computer. But I also want to say this. I don't want people to be turned away from as soon as they turn on the camera that if I'm in front of the com computer that they don't want to watch it because they think I'm going to do work. So this is this is what I will say because I can, I can tell that it bothers enough people. And, and that's fine. Like I appreciate you know the criticism. I will do my best not to do work while I'm filming. But as it gets colder and I can't film out here, the the computer gives me good light for the living room to film from. So it is good for me to sit in front of the computer for like the lighting, if that makes sense. So I don't want you guys just to turn it on and be like, oh, he's in front of his computer, he's doing work, I'm not gonna watch it. I will make a commitment that if I'm doing a vlog sitting at the computer, I won't be doing work anymore. Um, or not as much as I did, you know? Like if I have to like, just like transfer a video or something like that's one thing. But to do like a bunch of thumbnails and whatever, I won't do that, I'll make that commitment. Cause I, I don't, you know, I don't want it to be distracting, but I also don't want to miss a night from vlogging. That was the first thing I wanted to say. The second thing was somebody said on here, and none of the comments were from people. I mean, they were from people that I like knew had left comments before. And none of these comments were from people that like are like haters or anything. I want to make that clear. Like they're all people that, like I've watched for a while and are very nice and leave nice comments. So they were just like, uh, uh, you know, ob observant. What's the word I'm looking for? They were just uh, comments that were like observing things that happened. And somebody made a comment about they felt that my title and my thumbnail was clickbait because I was holding boo. And I said, um, and I, I titled the video Tough Times. In all honesty, that did not even occur to me, okay? I mean, and I feel really bad because somebody said that they fast forwarded through it because they were worried about Boo because they knew that Boo hadn't been great lately. I have to be honest with you, that did, and somebody else was like, oh, of course this was clickbait. And I was like, this was not clickbait. Go look at my channel, go look at the, the vlog, go look at the titles that I make, okay? Go look at, I mean, every thumbnail is me just like sitting in front of a chair like this, okay? You think I wouldn't be like, I mean, none of the thumbnails, none of the titles are clickbait titles. They literally are the most boring titles and thumbnails on YouTube, period, end of story. I honestly just thought it was like, a, when I, oh, all I do is, when I go through my vlog, is I just like scan over it when I'm like, when I'm rendering it, and I just scan over it, and I look for like a picture, and I was like, I want to have Boo in a picture over here, so that I can remember that I picked up Boo in this vlog. This is honestly what I was thinking. So that down the road, if I want to go back and I want to look at, this is, I do this sometimes when Boo is like on my lap and videos and whatever, so that if I can remember, I can go back and watch that down the road and then I know what vlogs Boo was in, right? So when that came up with that me picture, and actually if, if you look, that at that part of the video, Boo's looking all over. There was a scene where he looks right at the camera and I thought, oh, this is so sweet. So that was why I used that picture. The title was because of me talking about what happened in my meeting the other night and me really being worried, which I just found out some other stuff. It's just, you know, it seems constant these days. I'm just really struggling with some stuff that I had found out and, and still staying in hope and things like that. I did not even connect the two, okay? And I feel really, really bad that you guys, if, for anybody out there that thought that there was something wrong with Boo, like I will be, I will be more conscious of that in the future. I, I felt really bad about that. I just want to make that clear. That was not my intention to clickbait that. I think you guys, I hope you guys know me well enough to know that like, okay, I've always had this adage back in the day, like when people would like, I very rarely ever called in work when I worked in treatment because I didn't want somebody else to have to pick up the slack for, oh, I, I'm gonna go, I think I'm at almost at the 30 minute mark. I'm gonna change the battery just in case my walk takes me a little bit longer. Oh, I've got a minute left. Hold on, I'm gonna go change my battery really quick. Okay, I'm back. Do you see, at the beginning of that was truly how dark it is. I don't know like where the light comes from out here. It's not from that light. I mean, it's not that light out here. It's like really dark. But anyway, when I used to work in treatment, like I rarely ever called in sick. Um, and most of the people that I worked with didn't because 
for us to call and sick meant that somebody else had to be, we were a team. So somebody else had to be responsible for our duties. So if I didn't feel good, what I would do is I would come in and I would like go to the clinical meeting, you know, do groups, things like that. And then ask my supervisor, can I leave after all my stuff is done? If that was like noon, that was noon. And she was like, yeah, that's fine. Cause I didn't want somebody else to have to stop what they were doing to fulfill my duties, right? So, you know, there were people back in the day that would make up stories about, you know, they would call in sick and make up stories for why they couldn't come to work. I'm like, ah, I wouldn't want to make no stories up about stuff because you don't know. You don't, oh, I got to turn my, I got my, my uh, heated vest on for the walk. Um, I had it on earlier too, but um, it's really not that cold out tonight, but I thought it might be a little bit colder once we're walking. So I was like, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to say that stuff because you don't know, you know? So, um, I, I hope you guys know me well enough to know by now that I would not clickbait my dog's health for views, okay? And, and in all honesty, whether, if you want to look at my vlogs, whether I, the vlogs, I know this, okay? The vlogs that get the most views on this channel are when I say update, Okay. So, but like, unless I really have, like, it's a daily update or I haven't posted for a while or whatever. I mean, like I did a video the other day called I'm back, right? That got pretty good views. Well, I mean, th the thing is when I say pretty good views on this channel, like all the videos on this channel get about the same amount of views depending on the day. But then the ones that don't get good views, they usually catch up by the end of the week because people haven't watched that. So they go back and they watch the videos they haven't watched. All of my vlogs over here, it's not like I'm doing, you know, I'm getting like 4,000 views, 4,000 views, 3,000 views, 3,000, 4,000, 3,000, 3,000. And then I'm going to do a video with a clickbait title. And on my vlog channel, that video is going to get 20,000 views. I don't, like the only videos of mine that are getting that many views, I, I even went through these the other day, was like the very first vlog that I ever did on this channel. When I came back, you know, like after the accident, oh, I'm getting the package from somewhere. And the Fox Hollow Farms video, and I think pancreatitis, like I went to the emergency room. That was like a, like a highly viewed video as well. But I went to the emergency room. I would not clickbait my dog's health. Trust me, okay? I take that stuff very, very seriously. I would not clickbait my dog's health. So I appreciate you saying that and I, I'll be more aware of that in the future. But that bothered me a little bit that somebody that has watched me that closely and that consistently for a while thinks that I would clickbait my own dog's health for views. Like you obviously don't watch me very well and or think that highly of me to think that I'm the person that on a channel that it wouldn't, it really wouldn't matter if I clickbait a title over here or not. It wouldn't really change the views on that video. Like let's think this through, right? Like if I, if I did some, like it, it might get me maybe a thousand more views if I did something, if I clickbaited some title, but I've done videos before. And the other thing is like when Boo's not doing well, I'll do like, I'll title it like Boo's not doing well. Like I don't have a reason to clickbait that stuff. So the fact, this person's just like sitting in the car. I don't know if they're like delivering a package or what they're doing. So it kind of bothered me a little bit that somebody would insinuate that I would clickbait my dog's health for views. I, first of all, like it doesn't really matter. I mean, I'm gonna call this other, it's a package to my neighbors. <laughs> I'm waiting for all my Christmas packages to get here so I can wrap them all up and be ready. Um, like I'm gonna title this video today something like, you know, looking at Christmas lights in my neighborhood because that's what I'm gonna be doing, looking at Christmas lights in my neighborhood and I'll probably take a, I've already thought about doing like a thumbnail in front of some pretty Christmas lights, you know? This video will get over the next three to four days, it'll get just as many views as I get on any other video over here. I don't have the need to clickbait a title and use my dog and his health issues. Like, you must not think very highly of me, but I went and looked at your comments and your comments are pretty, pretty supportive of me, pretty nice. So like, I was kind of like, why would you think that I would do that? Like that kind of hurt my feelings in all honesty. Now, I'm just going to lay it out how I felt. Like, hey, listen, I will be more aware of that in the future, and I won't do those things. Um, and I'll be very aware of the thumbnail that I make. But, like, for somebody to think that I would do that, I mean, I think people know how much I love my dogs and how important it is for me to be a good dog dad. That you think that I would use my dog um, and his health issues and his being an elderly dog when I literally just made a video on my Peter Dust stuff video channel about how much I was struggling 
with having a senior dog. I just did that video. I don't know if you watch that channel, but I literally just did that video three videos ago on my Peter Does Stuff channel talking about how I'm struggling having a senior dog. So why would I come over and clickbait a title on my vlog channel for views that I'm not even going to get on that channel? Go look at my views on my vlog channel. They don't they don't fluctuate that much. It's not like if I'm going to, I mean, if, if you're going to clickbait a title, it's because you want to get more views and clicks, right? So did that video get, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's sitting at like 7th out of, they show you your top 10 videos. I think my video from yesterday is sitting at 7 out of 10 videos. So if I clickbaited that title, then what you're saying is I did that to get more views. Well, it didn't work. No, I was completely unaware of what I was doing. I picked out a cute picture. Oh, and packages over there too, but no packages for me. <laughs> I already got a bunch of packages today, so it's fine. But, um, you know... I wanted a cute picture of Boo Radley so I could go back one day and I could be like, oh, here's a video where I have Boo Radley in my lap so I could see, you know, in, me interacting with him back, you know, someday in the future. And then I was just like, and I was talking about tough times. I wasn't even connecting the two. So just want to put that out there. But I will be more careful of that in the future because I don't want people to worry. Um, and if, 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 I, if there's something that you need to worry about, trust me, I will do a real sad thumbnail or something so y'all know what you're getting before you get there okay other than that I'll, I'll try to look cheery and merry as hell I guess I don't know but I was going through it yesterday it was a tough time for me but it didn't have anything to do with boo but I randomly just go look through my thumbnails I just randomly pick pictures I'll just go through and be like okay this is a good picture and I pick it through like it's not I mean half my pictures are like this I'm looking there I'm looking there I mean none of my pictures are really that special the other day I picked a picture as I was turning off the camera like that I mean Oh no, I am getting packages. Am I getting packages? No, I, I thought so, but I got the houses mixed up. Sweetie, you have got all these boxes to carry. I feel for you. Thank you, I'm sorry. Oh no, it's okay. Thank you for your service. That. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. She is so sweet. She's carrying all these boxes down the street. And she's going from one house to the next tonight. She said she didn't know where she was going. These drivers, this driver that came by today that brought um, some more UPS packages, I asked him, I was like, what time do you start? And he was like, nine. And I said, what time will you be done? He was like, six or 6.30 or something. He's like, it's, it, today's not a bad day. He was like, it's just that we, he has another guy riding with him. He's like, it's just we constantly stop. And so he gets the packages and then um, he takes them. So I just want to make this clear. I'm not hurt by the comment, or I'm not I'm not mad about the comment. I'm hurt because I think I've displayed that that's not somebody that I am, and so I don't know why somebody would think that. Like, that kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, especially since it was from somebody that has watched my channel for a while, and, and I'm not mad. Like I said, I don't take this personally, right? But, like, that's not something that I would do over here, and I think I've shown that, so I don't... I don't know. I was confused by it. And, and none of the other comments from that person, I mean, they were all supportive, nice comments. So, but I just wanted to say that I wanted, I wanted to address those things since people brought them up. Um, and like the sitting in front of the computer got a lot of likes on that. People do not like me sitting in front of a computer. So I will do my best to sit from, not sit in front of the computer. The other thing is like, if I sit in the chair, Alex is like right up on top of me. So then like, if I'm sitting there, he's like listening to everything I'm saying. He's just sitting there playing this game. If I'm sitting at the computer, it's a little, even though it's just 10 feet away, it's like, <clears throat> I feel like I'm kind of like isolated over there. Like he's not listening to ever, and I could care less if he's listening to what I'm saying or not. But it just, it doesn't seem like, um, like I'm speaking to the whole house, if that makes sense, which is why I'm sitting from the computer. Because the days are going to come where it gets too cold and I can't film out there. So I just want to make that clear in the future. I will not edit. I, I've heard you guys loud and clear. And I'm not pissed about it. I mean, I, I, I understand what you're saying. <clears throat> like I said, my friend Valerini, she can't stand it either. So I will do my best to not edit and do things like that on camera anymore while I'm vlogging. So I heard you and I appreciate that. And I will do my best to watch the thumbnails to not make them misleading if they come. I, I will double check them before I put up. I didn't even think about the the. the, the thumbnail yesterday so I just want to make that clear and don't anybody go and, and leave people nasty messages about there's no reason to do that okay it was just their perspective perspective that was the word I was looking for it was just their perspective on what they saw so 
These are people that have, I mean, there's a lot of comments actually about me sitting at the computer. <laughs> so anyway, somebody was like, I, it doesn't bother me at all because I'm a multitasker, but that was not the popular opinion. The popular opinion was like, Peter, no, no, we ain't sitting in front of the computer anymore. So, so we're not gonna sit in the front of the computer. Should we go take a walk in the neighborhood? Okay. I'm gonna put my Diet Coke over here. My glass is up here. So let's go take a walk in the neighborhood, shall we? Okay, I'm so excited. So, as we walk away, I will show you. Do I have my, on oh, my pillows? I want to fix my pillows real quick. Hold on a second. Well, you can't really see because my, well, here, I'll show you my little setup. You can't really see because, so there's all my candles. There's my Christmas chair. There's my Christmas chair. There's my believe sign. There's all that. So, and there's my little Christmas stuff over there. So, when you walk away, this is our Christmas front porch of love. Okay, now first, before we go down the street, and I am going to turn the camera around, I want to show you my neighbor's lights because they have such pretty lights. Look at these. They, all the way up there. And they have all that. I told him tonight, I said, you don't leave your, he doesn't leave his lights on all night long. And then my neighbor across the street with the garden, hers go in and out. They change color. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Why is this going out of focus? Hold on a second. Okay, they change. Let's see if they change while we're standing here. She loves that they change colors. Can you see? Well, I'm not going to focus it in, but... So anyway... Now down here is a dark and scary path. So... <laughs> we won't go down there, that dark and scary path. We'll go down here. And then we'll just stop and look. Oh my god, you guys, look at the moon over the lake over there. Can you see it? <gasps> That is like a Christmas moon. It is such a pretty night outside, actually. It's very crisp, but it's not like too cold and stuff like that. I love that you can see like, here, I'm gonna walk over here before I walk down here. Oh, my neighbor across the street on the corner. So this is the condo on the corner that I'm always talking about my neighbor. They got a little Christmas tree. Can't really see it, but it's going out of focus. Can you see how it like the lights like shine off the lake? I'm trying to like get this focused on my camera and it's not doing it. There. Isn't that so pretty? Okay. So, there's my neighbor's house with the little lights, see? I don't know if this is gonna work because it's kind of like, you can't really see stuff at night. Nah, I don't, I don't love her, her lights right here. You can see her lights are like red and then they go to green and then they go to yellow, red again. I don't love them. I think they're kind of boring. Somebody's coming down the street. Who's coming down the street? Okay. Keep on going, baby. Keep on going. Oh, we're going to the house right here. And then we got some pretty lights right here. It's pretty lights right here. Pretty lights over here. they are coming up on the pool. The pool is so dark. This is the poor Amazon girl that was driving around. Here's where I took the picture last time. I got my Ugg boots on for our trek through the, the woods. There's the lights, I don't know if you can see them. On the side, because... Ooh, her lights are so pretty. They're like sparkle lights. You can see them or not. It's not like showing these lights up that well on camera. I don't know why. Do 
Do you want to know how bad I can scare myself? Let me just show you. Okay. So, here we are. That's going to be my thumbnail. Okay, so here we are by the tennis court. Look how dark it is. This is the house behind me. See, I can get myself so scared of serial killers that I'm like, okay. But I'm wondering if they fixed the tennis court yet. It's so dark down here though. It kind of smells like pot. I'm going up here, somebody's smoking pot in the woods. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Who smells like pot? Somebody is straight up smell, smoking some pot out on their patio or all my old ass neighbors are smoking pot out on their patio. Oh my Lord. <laughs> okay, I can't with all that. That scared me. Oh my Lord. Help, help me, Rhonda. <laughs> my mom used to always say that. Okay. There's like this random car just like parked up here by the pool. It's probably teenagers smoking on the tennis court, smoking weed, that's why I smelled. And I was worried about serial killers. So here's some Christmas lights over here. We're gonna have to go in the woods for this as well, just so you know. It's getting a little colder out. Now what I love is that on the back side of the lake, all these people, decorate their houses on the back side of the lake. You can see over here, right here, they have lights. And they have lights. There's lights way in the distance over there and there. And then over here, they got all kinds of stuff. They got, it's probably even better to see it in the reflection on the lake. You hear the dogs barking in the distance, look at that. So pretty, isn't it? So still. Look at the trees. Looks like a park, doesn't it? This long bench we have here, I love. I always just feel like such a part of the world when I'm outside, and I just, ooh, that scared me, I thought that was a dog barking. <gasps> Look at this up here. I always just like feel like such a part of the world and the universe when I'm like outside and I just like listen to the sounds. I don't know what it is about listening to the sounds that makes me feel like I'm such a part of just the world. Like it makes me realize that in the grand scheme of things, I'm pretty small, but I'm part of it. I'm one part this huge thing that works together, right? Like, and that's pretty amazing. Like, we all are. Each of us. Is there some... I thought I saw somebody, look. Do you see right there? I thought that was somebody looking at me. Who, where am I looking at? Is there somebody looking at me? Oh my God, I'm getting scared. Look, we got reindeer over here. We got an angel. Here's a reindeer, I don't know if you can see it. There's reindeer. These reindeer are real big in Indiana. And we got all this. We got that. This street's boring. There's no Christmas lights over here. And here I did. Walked way over here. <laughs> in the cold. There's like hardly no Christmas lights over here. There's a house for straight or a house for sale in the street. Oh here, this is cute. See, they have a little wrought iron gate and everything, and I love that. See, Boo Radley could run around in there if we had that. But do you see, like, all these front porches? Like, where they go in. If you can see this. But any of these, if I had any, look at this. Any of these other condos, if I had any of these condos, all of them, look. Is this not crazy? The one condo that my mother chose to buy in our neighborhood. Look at all these condos. Here, I'm going to show you. Look, their porch is set way back in there. 
their porch you can't even see. Their porch you can't see. Their porch you can't see. Our neighborhood is like one of the, our, our house is like one of the only ones. Can't see their porch. Their porch is hidden up over the side. Our house is literally like one or of two probably. But I think really, I, I hardly ever walk by where there's one, like ours is like one of the only ones. I mean, literally look, none of them. That faces the street. I mean, it's so crazy to me. Like this one even, this has a little raw iron gate too. Can't see the patio. Oh, look at this, they have a whole window display and everything. Oh my God, I have to focus on this and show you guys. Hold on a second. I'm like, who do they think is driving by here? But they have like, this looks like a, like a, on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. They have like Christmas trees and like a snowman and everything. Look at that. Oh, that is incredible. And they have like a sheet up behind it. Oh my God, I love it so much. I love people that go all out for the holidays. So, yeah, what's crazy to me is, if my mom had, per see, over there, there's their patio. If my mom had purchased any other condo in this neighborhood other than the one that she did, I wouldn't be able to sit on my front porch and talk to my neighbors. Like, what a blessing in disguise, right? Like, none of these. I have, I mean, I've walked by what, 10, 15 condos now? Not one of them. See? They have pretty, like, candy canes and stuff. Can't see their patio. Not one of these can you see the patio. Let me just show you what I'm walking next to if you want to talk about the Blair Witch Project, okay? I'm, like, walking up against this woods. This is where Caroline wants to live. She wants to back up against this woods over here. Wouldn't that be so fun if Caroline and I lived in the same neighborhood together? Now there, they have a door, but they have like no patio that you can sit on. See, like they have a little door right there, but no patio to sit on. I just can't believe it. It's almost kind of like kismet. Like it was supposed to happen that way. Now this one, they have a perfect patio to sit on. But, oh, they have a little, they have a hanging swing out there. So this is one of the only other ones. I wonder if theirs must be the exact same as ours. The garage is bigger though. Because you can see, none of them have patios that you can sit on. That was the first one in all of those. But anyway, it smells so good out here right now, you guys. It smells like a bonfire. Somebody is having a bonfire in our neighborhood. It smells delicious. Oh, here's this woman, she's taking her dog out. The dog's coming running for me. See, they have a little patio area with a fence. Oh, you guys wanna go see my favorite house in the whole world? Okay, we'll see if she has her Christmas. Um, hi! We'll see if she has her uh, Christmas tree up in her window. Or should I save that for another day? Because it's kind of up the street and I don't really want to walk that far. So I will save that for the other day. For another day. Look, there's the other part of the lake. This is a guard house. So still in our neighborhood. Oh man. I'm gonna look down the side street when we get up here and see if there's any that goes around to see if there's any, um, she's like trying to turn around or something. Oh, back in. 
she's been out here all this time since I've been vlogging, delivering these packages. I feel so bad for her. Just turning her van around. Oh, there's all kinds of Christmas lights down this little cul-de-sac down here. Nothing that exciting that we need to go down there and look, though. Now, this guy, he has this wooden reindeer right here. But he just throws in lights all up over it. But I love that reindeer. But I had to show you what is so that I love so much. He's like the only one that noticed when I put a big red bulb on our little tree out front before it started growing. Is this my husband? No, but that looked like my husband's car. Look, he's got, I don't know if you can see it. But it is Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And what's that bird's name? Edelweiss Woodstock. <laughs> Edelweiss. <laughs> I called that bird a Woodstock Edelweiss. <laughs> oh, there's more Snoopies down here. There's a lot of Snoopies in our neighborhood. I love it. Where am I at on time? I can't even see. Look at that. Oh, they got a Tweedledee. They got a, I don't know if you can see it because of the lights, but the motion central sensor lights are going off. Then over here, they go big every year. They got Christmas lights everywhere. I love it. It's so pretty. See, when I look down the street, I look down straight from here. So this is what I see. I see all this. That's so pretty. I love it so much. Well, I think I'm going to get off now. I'm almost home and get this vlog rendering and going. And then watch some movies with my husband. Well, I got to go to the store real quick. And I'm going to watch some movies and stuff with my husband. So. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. If nobody else has told you to stay, I love you. And um, whew, I'm not doing the whole outro tonight because I'm out of breath from walking. But I got a good walk in, so thank you. And um, I love you guys so much. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday and a fantastic beginning to your weekend. You only got one more weekend after this for Christmas. It's Christmas weekend next weekend. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya!